Hello, I'm Ben. I'm from Team 1076, the Pi High Samurais, and today we are at the Michigan State Championship in the DTE division. So going into this year, we wanted to make sure we were building with the idea of being consistent and not overreaching. And so with that, we kind of immediately cast off the trap as being a little bit too hard um, and focused really in on having really great amp scoring and really great speaker scoring. Um, and so we started that off with our under the bumper intake because we knew we really wanted to be great at intaking pieces, but didn't want to have the chance of having an over the bumper intake, which could get damaged really easily. And then moving up, we go into our shooter mechanism. So we wanted our shooter to be not only for the speaker, but we also wanted it to amp. That way we were cutting down on the degrees of freedom that we needed. And then finally, we have our pivot. And so that's what allows us to both shoot at the speaker at different angles, but then also to go all the way over and to score into the amp. And then lastly, we have some climb hooks on there so that we just grab on the chain and do a little pull up. So going into Jackson, we felt pretty good, better than we've ever felt before in my career because we kind of worked out a great 4-0 auto routine and we were just being consistent in our practice matches, getting lots of time on the field. And so going in, we were just gonna take it one match at a time. And first two matches, we got two horrible draws. We were against some of the best players there, but then we went on a huge winning streak and eventually partnered with Manchester where we went on to win. And we thought we had a great alliance with them they're an incredible speaker shooter with a really fast cycle time, but without much amp play, they were just losing points every single cycle because they weren't amplified. And so with our great amp scoring, we were able to partner up and really maximize points. We broke 100 quite a few times with them. Just had a great time. We wanted to make sure that we kept things simple. First rule was don't break anything between competitions. And so that led us to kind of mostly focus on software changes. So our biggest implementation was note detection here. This is our second generation, but we started with a version um, just with a camera and a Coral developers board. And so using that note detection, we were kind of able to hone in our Auton so that we could get farther notes. And even if our telemetry was a little off, we could kind of center in on that note. And then the second change was also vision based. We really focused on our auto aiming system with the limelight at the back of our robot, knowing that subwoofer shots weren't always going to be possible. We wanted to make sure we had a ranged option. So we did a rebuild of our frame with thicker aluminum just to make sure we survived big hits. A lot of software revision. We are using the Limelight 3G now, which we found to be really great. Just more accurate, easier to use. And then just general durability. My favorite part being on the robotics team is just getting to iterate so fast. Nowhere else do you get such access to resources. We have great digital fabrication. And so working together as a team to put together prototypes is just so exciting to me. We've done a great job rebuilding this year and I just wanna kinda say it is possible to just put in the work even if you're a little underfunded. It's the hard work over time that gets you there, those small incremental improvements. It's never gonna be a big push, but we've been able to rebuild using that method.